Amongst a number of different pilots flying uh, combat missions against ISIS uh, positions in Syria, one of them made history. Her name is Major Maryam Al-Mansouri, and she is the first ever combat pilot for the United Arab Emirates, and she flew combat missions against ISIS on Monday of this week. You see her there. Uh, looking like a complete badass, doing what I can't imagine doing. Uh, Major Mansouri is 35 years old. She wanted to become a pilot since high school, but had to wait until women were permitted to do so. Uh, in the UAE, previously, they had not been permitted. She earned an undergraduate degree in English literature and worked for the armed forces in other capacities while waiting to become a pilot. She graduated from Khalifa bin Bayad Air College back in 2007 and that currently my, uh, flies. That was my safety school. That was your safety school? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. she was quite proud to go there. <laughs> Uh, and currently flies the Block 60 model of the American-built F-16 fighter jet, which is still in service in the American uh, military as well. She was described by the ambassador of the UAE as a fully qualified, highly trained, combat-ready pilot, and she led that mission. So this is obviously uh, a time when I think all of us here in America have to be proud for both the fact that they opened up the position for women to fly combat uh, roles in the UAE and that she's helping us to defeat what it, we're being told is the largest threat in the US, in, in the world right now to US interests. And so of course while we're doing that at Fox News they're mocking and bemiddle, belittling her because she has the temerity to be both a pilot and a woman. Let's take a look at this video from The Five. Hey ISIS, you were bombed by a woman. Oh yeah, hell came down on ISIS in Syria because guess what? The first female pilot piloting for the UAE, there she was, leading the strikes, dropped the bombs on ISIS on Monday night. There you go. Problem hey, is, hey, after she that. bombed it, she, did, she couldn't park it. <laughs> uh, and we, and by now, the way, did you really have that, to ruin my life? I salute her. Would Thank that you. be considered boobs on the ground or no? Oh my What God. kind of oh, salute Jesus. would you salute Why her, Greg? Ruin my thing? Would right. you give her a firm right. Why did, did you just say what I thought you said? Man, when you get Bob Beckel to go, did you just say what I thought you said? <laughs> exactly. You're upset. You're he upset. woke up in response to that. I mean, I don't know what you expect from these guys. They're clowns. Mm -hmm. They're silly people. Uh, she was making a nice point. Uh, she was making a great point. Yeah, but, I thought that yeah, she, she was. Being she, was no, she was great. That's fine. I, it's just, it's weird that we're cheering. Like, I mean, it's great. It's good. These breakthroughs for women, and but I mean, it's like, yeah, we got a woman. And it turns out women can from thirty thousand feet. Women can kill people too. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, the more amazing part is the flying of the F sixteen, which yeah, I think is impressive more for anybody. Than just dropping a bomb. No, no, I yeah. got it. But yeah. I mean, but ultimately, that's what you, it's a fighter pilot. They're designed to fight. Exactly. And, and she's fighting, and yeah. she, you know, so. Yeah, and it, it's a huge move. I mean, as look, I don't, I don't normally like Kimberly Guilfoyle, but as she pointed out in the extended version of that clip. Um, in many countries in this region, women are still fighting for the ability to even drive. So for her to be flying F-16s is very yeah, impressive. Yeah. I would prefer if she was flying like commercial airlines and not dropping bombs on people, but perhaps this will help to open up other career paths for women in the UAE. So obviously that's a good thing. And I love very quickly that in, in, the, in the five right there we see a distillation of what their personalities actually are. Greg Gutfeld making the first joke about the not being able to park, which is obvious, like it's misogynistic. What is, Greg, what is Greg Gutfeld doing with his life? Like he's, he's a sitting comedian, there I guess. advocating for war. Yeah. I mean, he's with his dorky ass outfit and his New Balance shoes. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I he can't... sometimes makes sense. 5% of the time no, he makes sense. No, he never sense. makes sense. Greg, um, Greg Gutfeld is my least favorite person yeah. on the planet, okay? But he look, has like a long history of saying stupid asinine things. But like, really? You're gonna sit there and talk about how she can't park? And you're gonna like belittle her after- <laughs> Most a, obvious joke ever. It's just, yes, it's not only an obvious joke. It's a little funny. But I feel- It's look, a little it's funny, a little but funny. it is funny because it's misogynistic. It shouldn't be funny. Yeah. I'm, no, I am no. wrong and I apologize no, for thinking it's No, funny. no, no, look, we get but, to make, look, jokes are, the thing about Greg Gutfeld is that his role is kind of as a comedian. He that's has why a he's there. He is he really a, a comedian? He hosts their comedy show, There's Red Eye. There's a comedy Eye. show? Red Eye, yes, he hosts that. Everybody loves so Red then, Eye. So uh, then bowling <laughs> jumps in, and not even close to, look, everybody wants to be funny on TV. You can't be funny. I would love to be hilarious. You don't get to, necessarily. And, and this is coming just a day after the five burned Obama to the ground for, for saluting with a coffee cup. Him there insulting any female pilot, of which there are many uh, in the US military right now. Apparently they can't drive and they're just known for their boobs. Yeah, um, Greg Gutfeld strikes me as a type of guy who gets easily emasculated by powerful, yes. strong women. Yeah. That's, I think that's the thing that, that drives me nuts about Greg Gutfeld, you know what I mean? Like anytime there's any story of any woman doing something good or being strong, he has to crack those jokes. Like mm -hmm. it's his role. Well, so he I, I couldn't think even fit it, in an F-16 cockpit. 
I don't see him making jokes like that if it was, you know, a male mm -hmm. member of the military or whatever doing something impressive or someone who had accomplished something. It's just, Definitely. I don't know, there's something about no, Greg I got Look, the context is, I mean, so it's this celebratory moment of, uh, and, and, and for a place like Fox, which spends a great deal of time yeah. justifying anti-Muslim venom by pretending to care about Muslim women. Mm -hmm. And then we have this Democracy. sort of victory and then you instantly, you instantly minimize it. That yeah. said, I'm not sure I could have resisted that joke. I would have regretted you, you it. You think I, you would have said that The boots on the joke? ground or the driving? The first one, no, no the okay. second one is There's out. no okay. way in hell you would have made that joke. I, I know you. I might you. have made it privately. I mean, women parking we know, is maybe funny. Maybe on 140. It's funny, right, totally. The, uh, <laughs> but, but the interesting thing is is that Fox certainly distinguished between the jokes because that now is true. The, uh, yes, Eric so, Bowling has apologized. Uh, as we were beginning to cover that, uh, producer J.R. Jackson comes in and has uh, Eric Bowling's update, the apology. He has apologized. I'm shocked. I would have predicted there would be no apology. They don't typically do it. Um, but he had been attacked later that night by Greta Van Susteren, who was not a fan of that. Bowling, in his apology, says, I made a joke, and when I got home, I got the look, referring to his wife. So even that a little bit masculine, a little bit misogynistic right. there. I said, sorry to my wife, and I apologize to you all and want to make that very clear. And so that's, that's an okay apology, I think. Like they're, I, think they're that's acceptable. I don't give a shit whether they apologize, and neither does, by the way, a, 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 the UAE fighter pilot. Shouldn't right. care about Eric Bowling.